really like it. And one thing that you mentioned, actually Gloria mentioned in the book, is really, let's say, scary and fucked up. Uh, it's about Dana. And she told uh, the, the wife of a member of Sepultura back in 87, and called the morgue and try to take out Dana's body, you know, to bury and basically so you can go back to England and keep on with the tour. And was this like the like the the like I don't I don't know how to say this in English, but like like the bomb, like like, like the final bomb to to quit Sepultura was was this the yeah that was one of the little things that they did that I didn't like it you know they they did a lot of things like that and that's the reason I left I'm a person of integrity and um, you know I'm not perfect you know but I try to, to to live life right as much as I can and I respect other people and I like to be respected and but when they do shit like this man try to remove a body, try to bury somebody without their, you know, like, like taking away the privilege of the mother to see their dead son. That's just wrong, you know, that's just yeah. really, really wrong. Nobody should, nobody, it's creepy, you know, it's, and it's, it's fucked up. And, uh, you know, so that was really like, you know, on top of the thing that, that made me really never, mm -hmm. You know, never really wanted to, to play with those guys anymore because of stuff like that. Because we had to deal with stuff like that all the time. You know, mm -hmm. was was Paulo Junior uh, wife the one who did this? It was Andrea, Patricia. Patricia. Oh, I see. Yeah. Uh huh. Yeah. Um, uh, talking about Andreas, I I got the chance to interview Andreas in like a year and a half. And he told me that you actually signed a paper when you give up Sepultura. And I, I'd like to, to know the, your version. Uh, you quit Sepultura or you were kicked out from, from the band? Uh, well, I quit. You know, like, I really couldn't play with them anymore after those things. And, you know, it was, it was a very difficult decision, you know, because I really was, you know, Sepultura is very close to my heart. It was like my baby, you know. I named the band and I formed the band as a teenager, you know. And uh, but you know, it was one of those things that you had to do it, you know. Like um, mm -hmm. I had to do it. I couldn't go on anymore. So I made a statement, back statement. I sent it to the press, uh, explaining why I did that. And um, yeah, so you know. The rest is, um, it is what it is, you know, like there's nothing I can change. But, you know, I, I kind of I look at it uh, as something that it was, uh, you know, meant to happen and good things came out of it, you know. So, yeah, like, so career is great. Yeah, I was about to say that because of wrong and stuff, uh, wrong decisions, a good thing happened, like Soulfly and now Cavalier Conspiracy. Yeah, and many, uh, you know, it's difficult, like a lot of musicians cannot succeed after leaving a big group, yeah, you know, and great. so I'm very, very lucky, you know, because many try, you know, and, and many fail. I was very lucky that so succeed, and, and it was, a, you know, it's a big name now in the metal world, and uh, we tour the whole world. If you like this interview, please give me a thumbs up, leave a comment, and share the video with all your friends. Also, very important, please don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell.